Yo, what's up guys? It's Super Luck right here, and welcome to a sorta of top 10 video. Basically, I'll be going through 10 Pokemon that I think should get Alola forms for Sun and Moon. This was originally supposed to be a collab video, but I ran out of time to record, and I figured, well, I put in a lot of work already, and I think I could still get this out, so I decided to swap out one of my videos for the year and give you guys this. This is not a top 10, since there's no order, and as of yet, no hidden abilities for Alola forms have been released at the time of recording this, but I'm still gonna go over the abilities, even though none have been released yet for the hidden abilities at least. But anyways guys, let's get into it. Number one. Deerling and Saucebuck. Wow, what a weird entry. Now the reason I chose this line is because if you think about it, Deerling and Saucebuck change their appearance based upon the season. But if you really think about it, are there really seasons in Alola? First off, seasons were gone in Generation 6, but also, the Alolan climate should basically remain pretty much the same throughout the entire year. That's why I decided to put this line on the list because I think having a lack of noticeable difference in the seasons would lead to a different evolutionary look. I'm thinking it would be a tropical looking summer sauce buck with a wreath of flowers around its neck and palm tree horns. Deerling would be red color. Deerling, type, normal grass, ability, chlorophyll, sap sipper, and hidden ability. Serene Grace. Sauce buck, type, normal grass, ability, chlorophyll, sap sipper, and hidden ability, Serene Grace. Number 2 Vanillite Vanillish Vanillix Why? Well, I thought they'd all just melt in Alola. I don't suppose many Alolan inhabitants would think of ice cream cones, especially since they probably wouldn't even have freezing. Shoutout to Zyna the Zorak who sketched a few of these herself. The whole line would become water types, with a similar look but made out of water molecules maybe, like a Manaphy almost. But since I cannot draw here are my drawings, and here is Zyna's. I personally like hers better, but I really don't have any concept ideas. It was more like the concept of having an ice cream cone in a sunny place. Vanilla, type, water. Ability, rain dish. Hidden ability, weak armor. Vanilla, type, water. Ability, rain dish. Hidden ability, weak armor. Vanilla, type, water. Ability, rain dish. Hidden ability, weak armor. Number 3 Lapras Lapras is a water ice type, which I don't think would fit Alola's tropical theme as well. That's why I think Lapras should turn into a water steel type, with the icy shell turned into body armor. Lapras should also have a steel horn instead of the normal stub. It also gets a bunch of abilities that will complement its steel typing. I think that regular Lapras would be found near the icy areas as well in the water. Type Water Steel Ability Shell Armor Analytic Hidden ability, light metal. Number four. Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. I thought it would be pretty cool to have an Alola Luxray with a tribal headdress. Gets a little color change as well to make it a little bit more blue. I just felt like it honestly, it was just kind of something that I just figured I would do. It becomes an electric psychic type like Raichu. Since Luxray got one, Shinx and Luxio do as well. I just put some feathers for them. Luxio's feathers turn a bit more red to evolve into a Luxray with a red headdress. The evolution line changes so that Shinx is an electric normal type, and then it gets a psychic type instead after evolving into Luxio. The second ability shows the increasing psychic power. Luxray gets steadfast as it becomes a steadfast leader. Oh gosh. Shinx, type, electric normal. Ability, quick feet, trace. Hidden ability, static. Luxio, type, electric psychic. Ability, quick feet, telepathy. Hidden ability, static. Luxray, type, electric psychic, ability, steadfast, magic yard, hidden ability, bolt absorb. Number 5 Inkay and Malamar. So what if this line turned to the light side instead of the dark side? Then it would have realized that I'm trying to make a Star Wars pun even though there's no pun here. And it also would have realized that it could have had the powers of a dragon. The change was very similar this time around, but I thought this set of colors fit perfectly with that royal feeling of a light dragon. Inke, type, Dragon Psychic. Ability, Super Luck, Magic Bounce. Hidden Ability, Adaptability. Malamar, Dragon Psychic. Ability, Moody, Magic Bounce. Hidden Ability, Adaptability. Number 6. Trap Branch, Vibrava, and Flygon. Here we've got this line turning into Poison Dark Types. I thought this was a pretty cool idea, and I went along the lines of like a Shadow version, and I ended up creating this instead. 
Trap Hinge, Type, Poison, Dark. Ability, Poison Touch, Hidden Ability, Contrary. By Brava, Type, Poison, Dark. Ability, Poison Touch, Hidden Ability, Levitate. Flygon, Type, Poison, Dark. Ability, Poison Touch, Hidden Ability, Levitate. Number 7 Aloma Mola. The Alola Aloma Mola. Oh my gosh, the next tongue twister. Yeah, I made this guy an electric type. I just thought I was gonna choose a Mon that would turn to an electric type. And I just thought of a Loma Mola and I was like, oh gosh, we gotta have this. She just have electricity just coming out of its body. And it's yellow, yay. A Loma Mola, type, water electric. Ability, surge surfer, volt absorb. Hidden ability, regenerator. Number eight. Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, and Mega Tyranitar. I love this line, and I thought, well, in a tropical island system, there shouldn't be so much sand. 7.8 out of 10, too much sand. There should be a water version of this line. This Tyranitar is going to be water ground, with the ability to use the water jet tail to go through the water or create underground tunnels extremely fast. This thing also looks so cool. I gave them all Swift Swim because now they can swim fast. Mega Tyranitar gets Intimidate because the pattern on his belly reminded me of Scary Face. Larvitar, Type, Water Ground, Ability, Infiltrator, Hidden Ability, Swift Swim. Pupitar, Type, Water Ground, Ability, Shed Skin, Hidden Ability, Swift Swim. Tyranitar, Type, Water Ground, Ability, Defiant, Hidden Ability, Swift Swim. Mega Tyranitar, Type, Water Ground, Ability, Intimidate. Number 9. Cranidos and Rampardos. You guys know how much I love this line. I want to see an Ice Steel type Rampardos. While it would be absolutely trash and competitive, we need Icicle Spikes coming out of its head for an awesome ice effect. Its whole body would be a different shade and being made out of steel instead. Same thing for Cranidos. They would totally learn Icicle Spear and pull a Cloister with Skill Link. Cranidos, type, Ice Steel. Ability, Skill Link. Hidden Ability, Weak Armor. Rampardos, type, Ice Steel. Ability, Skill Link. Hidden ability, weak armor. Number 10. Magikarp, Gyarados, and Mega Gyarados. That's right, it's time for the best fire breathing dragon. Sorry, Charizard. Alola Magikarp would be fire type with a flame instead of the yellow crown. You find it on the volcano area, and maybe we would be able to surf on fire. That would be awesome. We would also get the ability Solar Panel, which is basically Swift Swim for the sun. Alola Gyarados would be fire flying type. Gosh, it's literally Charizard, except better. With flames running along its back, it would be an orange-red color and you would be able to find it in the volcano area as well. Mega Alola Gyarados would be fire steel type with the giant sail in the middle all on fire. The fin in the front and the ones that come out of the side of its head would be steel swords. And its entire body would be the same orange-red color. The whole body would be steel as well. That would be insane. I would assume that you find normal Magikarp and Gyarados as well in the normal waters with these Alola forms in the volcanic areas. Magikarp, type fire. Ability, solar panel. Hidden ability, multi scale. Gyarados, type fire flying. Ability, intimidate. Hidden ability, reckless. Mega Gyarados, type fire steel. Ability, heat proof. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend, and comment down below any Alola forms that you guys want. And feel free to make your own drawings if you want as well. Doesn't have to be good, look at mine. But until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys later.